Good morning, um, it's like 8 o'clock, um, it's been a bit of a rough sleep, I woke up a couple times in the middle of the night and needed to use the washroom, it was like a brief period where I just couldn't fall asleep, I don't know what was going on, um, but I was able to get to sleep, I woke up at like 6 again, but go back to sleep, um, I don't think I'll be able to get back to sleep again now, though, um, I can really hear the waves outside, but I haven't looked yet in the daytime, so, but, it should be pretty, um, I'll probably actually get out of bed in a, a little while, um, but, I want to eat breakfast at some point, and, Try and enjoy the the beach. So I'm just on a bit of a Tristan solo adventure right now. Um, Alex is still sleeping, but I was at the point where I'm like, I can't go back to bed, and I want to see what the waves are looking like today. Super pretty here. Um, I think the tide's a bit more out, but. Uh, no, it was actually a really good temperature for sleeping, like, well, not too hot, not too cold. I had my negative nine sleeping bag, so it kept me nice and toasty, but, like, not overheating. Um, the ground was, like, super buoyant or something, though, because, like, and I think it affected the, the sleeping pads because I would constantly feel like someone was either walking on our platform or something like that. But, I'm 90% sure most of the time, Alex was in his tent. So either it was him moving around, an animal or something potentially behind us, or not behind us, but like around us and just that it was moving the platform that way. Um, but, uh, no, it was, it was kind of weird. I was not expecting that, but, um, I do love the, the waves this morning. Super, super pretty. There's like things floating out there. I'm assuming it's just like seaweed and stuff, but. No, oh, it's a beautiful day. So this is all, I think this was all underwater when we were here before, um, but this is, this is kind of neat, neat, there's an actually an open uh, muscle, I don't know if I've actually seen like uh, the inside of a, like a, I guess a wild muscle before, so that's kind of neat, but uh, no, there's lots of muscles. 
some uh, gooseneck barnacles, some limpets, some snails. These are big boy mussels too. If it wasn't, well, I don't know if it's red tide or not, but it'd be a good place to harvest some mussels for sure. See if we can find anything cool on I swear I just saw a seal right there. Hmm. Maybe just something bobbing up and down. Probably seaweed. Uh this is gonna be a little sketchy because the water's like coming onto it to some extent, so I don't want to get myself soaked. But I wanna see if I can find anything cool in the eelgrass. Looks like mostly just limpets and seaweed and eelgrass. Um, just hoping to find like a, a chitin or a starfish or something. But I'm not seeing anything. But that doesn't mean it's not there. There's probably things hiding under the eelgrass that are just pretty well hidden um but wow look at the size of those mussels those things are massive like you could feed in a lot of people with all these mussels here like there's so many and they're so big that would be some fine dining but i'm not sure if you need a permit to harvest mussels and I don't know when red tide is, so I'm going to leave them be and not potentially kill myself. Um, as that doesn't sound like a good time to me. But I'll have to take that into consideration should I ever be more educated on uh, mussels and red tide and harvesting and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see anything cool oh there's a chitin yeah there's a there's a chitin right there i was hoping i would find at least one. Oh, and there's another one there maybe it is chitin season oh there's a ton yeah there's a little guy there and then there's like three right there that's really cool um Another one there, two more there. Um, there's probably some cool stuff under the eelgrass, but I don't want to disturb it too much. Um, yeah. Oh, there's some. Uh, why is my mind blanking? The anemones. Anemone, anemones. Haha. <laughs> um. What else do we got here? More titans and mussels. More. Lots of eelgrass. I'm also kind of wary of putting blocket on the eelgrasses. I don't know what's under it. Like it could be a big hole filled with water and I don't want to soak myself just yet. But uh, I'm gonna continue the journey. Got more chitons. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad it's low tide so I could actually check this out. It's uh, pretty cool to see. And I don't think it was low tide the last time I was. I think this might have been the like the first time I've actually been here during low tide so, this is cool to check out well uh, because it's low tide we can actually get past the, the waterfall today so I'm definitely gonna go check that out um, 
yeah, like, there's so much more beach now. This is, this is wild. Oh. Hello, Mr. Raven. But, yeah, we could, like, unless we wanted to get wet or chance getting wet, there's no way we're getting past this. So, that's pretty cool. I love how it just, like, it's just undercutting everything and, like, like actually such a a deep hole going on. Almost like it's making a little cave. Like it'd be cool to like maybe spend the night there, but like you wouldn't want to get potentially caught by the water. Um, no, this is really cool. I'd eventually find something. I think this is a, a blood star. Yeah, let me move that out of the way. That's really cool to see. Um, there used to be tons of like uh, the purple sea stars everywhere, but over the last like five to ten years, they kind of stopped seeing them for the most part. But this one's, I think, more rare than those are. So that's really cool to see. And, uh, an enemy that's uh, fully owned. It's pretty big actually. That's that's really cool to see as well. Now that the tide's out and we were able to get past the uh, the waterfall, there's actually a hidden beach here, which I had no clue existed. Uh, it's super slippery, so I'm going to take my time getting here. But this is really cool. Actually, I'm going to go down this way. Last thing I want to do is hurt myself as I have a, a bit of a trek out. There we are. No, this, like, I can't even really see it. Because that's where you do, so it'd be hidden by these rocks. But this hidden beach is pretty cool. Yeah, a nice place to just kind of relax and uh, hang out for the day. But the only worry I'd have is being able to get back. Um, but look at the view. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, someone's been here this morning, unless likely dog, but there's a small, I, th I think it's too small to be a, an actual wolf. I think the paw prints would be a lot bigger. Too sweet? Yeah, too bad. I mean, you could add more water. I got my, my oatmeal here. I had a, a wrap with some zesty chicken. 
but uh, this thing was treating me well. Well, we uh, packed up. This is where we were uh, sleeping, but uh, we're packed up now and we're gonna head back out. Uh, we packed our garbage because we, you know, leave no trace and all that. Um, but we're gonna go on our merry way and enjoy the rest of our day. Well, goodbye, Mystic Beach. Um, you were fun, but it's time to go. I'll miss your beautiful scenery. Yeah, we can actually see America today. Wow, it's uh, turned into a nice day, but I'm, uh, it's time to go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, bud. Pick up the pace. Come on, bud. You can do it. Come on. This guy tells me to pick up the pace and it's slow as a mule. A mule at... Ah! <laughs> I did not see that step. That's what you get. Yeah. So we made it up the winding stair and now we get to walk through the rainforest. Life is good. say I do really love these forests all their roots and foliage and stuff it's just super pretty um, this is what we call a, uh, a temperate rainforest so it doesn't have the heat of like a, a rainforest in the, the equator or whatever but uh or Central America, but it is a rainforest because it's so wet and just all the living things that live here. It's very, very peaceful. We on the bridge again. Let's go. Well, we made it to the parking lot. Now we just have to go up the massive driveway to get to the road where we parked. So just one more little push and then we are done. It's been a good little trek but it's uh, almost it's almost done. Well, we're, we're just walking back on the road now. So, like all journeys, this one must come to an end. So I wanna thank you adventurers for coming on this with me. And I hope 
that I can see you on the next one.